All right, y'all. It's been a while since I've been out here to the gun range, and it feels great to be out here on this beautiful Saturday morning in Jacksonville, Florida. Currently at Gateway Rifle and Pistol Club, which I'm a member of, and I'm going to dub today Sig Sawyer Saturday because today I've got three new Sig Sawyer 9mm that I purchased within the last couple of weeks. And I'm a Sig fan, so I want to go ahead and put them to the test because these are three weapons that I've been actually wanting for quite some time. And I finally bit the bullet and purchased them. So let's go ahead and take a look and see exactly what it is that I have. All right, as y'all can see, I got all three of the cases lined up here. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what is inside each of them. Let me come to the side like this right here so that way all three cases can be seen. And let's see what we got inside each. First case. First case is the P320. This is the full size P320 chambered in 9mm. I've been wanting one of these for quite some time. I shot one a couple years ago when I was up in Rhode Island for a class for work and I fell in love with it. A friend of mine, she had one and she let me shoot her and it was pretty nice. And I've, like I said, I've always been interested in and pretty um, lean towards SIGs anyway. So, so P320, the, uh, what I consider the classic. <laughs> All right, next up. Now, this is also a SIG B320, but this is with the TXG grip. It also has a little extra weight in it. It's got the slots for the red dot, which I actually have the red dot, but I'm not going to put. The, I haven't put the red dot on it yet in order to shoot it. But um, I'm going to be putting that on probably later on this week and bring it out next week to actually shoot this with the red dot. But I want to check out the actual sights on it. But this is the Sig Sig P320 with the TXG grip, and it has the the extra weight added to it as well. And then definitely last, but not least, is the one that I've been wanting for quite some time. And this one is the SIG P226. Man, I've been wanting to get my hand on one of these for about, oh man, at least over a year now. I shot one at the gun range. Uh, one of my homegirls had rented one, and me and the missus, we both shot it, and we fell in love with how, how smooth this thing shot. So this is the SIG P226, and I'm definitely looking forward to shooting this one as well today. So, Take a look. Not bad, not bad. And that's approximately at seven yards right there. Right. Next up, the P320. TXG grips. Take a look. Now remember, I shot five shots. Can y'all tell which hole I went into twice? It's up to two, six. Let's go. For sure. This is the P226. All five shots. I know, y'all don't believe me. All five shots. So, what I'm gonna have to do is, I'm gonna have to shoot one of these other targets <laughs> to show y'all that this is how accurate the P226 is. All five shots, the same exact hole. No freaking way. Do y'all see my face right now? Wow. 
And that's why I love the P226. <laughs> I remember the first time I shot it, it was very similar results. But hey, the, the tool is only as good as the operator, I say. So. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to have some fun with the plates. We're going to push it back to 15 yards, and we're going to shoot three of the six nine mils on these steel plates. So let's have some fun, because you like the ping ping of the plates, right? So let's go shoot the steel plates. All right, y'all. All right, classic up. Not bad. P320 uh, with the grips. And it was pretty fun. Like I said, I had the, the P320, the P320 with the TXG grips, and also the P226, all chambered in 9mm. And it was a pretty good, pretty good day. I hadn't been out here in quite some time, so it was fun to get out here and actually shoot. Now I have a fourth 6R, which is my P229, which is chambered in 40 SNW, which also have a 357C conversion barrel for as well. Well, didn't bring that out today. I just decided just to work on the three new ones and just have a little fun and, and just see exactly what are since it's been quite some time since I've been shooting. So just want to come out here and just say that I enjoyed my six hour Saturday and as always like to always tell to each and every one of you, I look forward to seeing you out to the end one of these days. Alright y'all, enjoy your day, enjoy your week, enjoy your month and see y'all soon.